So I'm going to start writing something like 1 equal to 1, 2 is equal to 10, 3 is equal to 11, 4 is equal to 100, 5 is equal to 101, 6 is equal to 110, 7 is equal to 111, 111, 8 is equal to 1000. The question is how do we figure out all of these? How do we figure out which one is which? How do we know that this is this, this is this, this is this? Let me just show you the trick. Uh, because you need to learn smart. You need to know the secrets of getting things done easily. So, take a look at this. We have 1, 2, 3, sorry, 1, 2, and then we double it to 4, double it again to 8, double it to 16, to what next? 32, to 64, to 128, and so on and so forth. So, let's check 10. Or let's take one. So if you take one, you can write one here and it's one, right? But in case of 10, we can write it one, zero. So in that case, if I rule a line at this point, and we have 10 to be one, zero, we have, where we have one, we just take it and add it to where we have, uh, we just add up Anywhere we have one, just take it. So in this case, 10 is 2. All right, let's talk about 11. So 11 is 1, 1. In that case, we have, in, in case of 10, we have 2 plus 0. In case of 11, we have 2 plus 1, right? All right. So in that case, we have 1 at the position of 2, and we also have 1 at the position of 1. Okay, let's try 100. 100 says 1, 0, 0. All right. So let's calculate it. In position of 4, we have 1. So we have 1. In position of 2, we have 0. So plus 0, plus 0 in position of 1. So it means that 100, sorry, we have 4. So in that case, we have 4. Let's try 5. 5 is is what? It's a 101. Zero one. So we have 101. One. So in position of 4, we have 1. So we take 4. In position of 2, we have 0. So we have plus 0. In position of 1, we have 1. Right, like this. So that gives us 5. This gives us 4. This gives us 3. And this gives us uh, uh, 2. And so on. Alright, so this is the idea about binary numbers, right? So basically, if you write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to whatever, just take numbers that have only 1. So we have 1. The next one that have 1 and 0 is 10. The next one is 11. All the way to 100, 101, 111, and all the way to 1000. So basically, we are talking about something similar. Okay, so I'm sh I've shown you the principle behind it. So given a number, let's say given a number, let's say 9, convert it to binary. So what you can do to convert 9 to binary, sorry, what you can do, so given a number, or a binary number, let's say 10 zero, or 10, zero. how do you convert to binary? You simply write it out here, 1, 0, 1, 0, right? And simply add it. So here we have 8 plus, at position of 4, we have 0 plus 0. At position of 2, we have 1. So we have, we take 2. And at position of 1, we have 0. So 1, 0, 1, 0 in binary is going to be uh, 8 plus 2, which is 10. <laughs> it doesn't it sound very strange because you already have 10 here to the decimal. Meanwhile, 1010 is 10. 
So given another one, let's say one zero one one. Convert it to okay. This is called base two. This is called base two. This is equal to ten in base ten. Okay. Now one zero one one converting to base ten. Let's write it out and let's see what we have. One zero one one. So here we have eight. At position of 4, we have 0, because here we have 4 at this position, so it's going to be plus 0. At position of 2, we have 1, so we take 2. At position of 1 here, we have 1, so we take 1. So that is going to give us 8 plus 2 plus uh, 4, 1, which is going to be 11. <coughs> so, this is going to be 11 to in base 10, alright? Alright, so that is one way to do it. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Now, instead of writing this this way, you can write this in this way. We have 2 to base 0. This one here, 2 to is equal to 2 to base 0, all right? This is 2, sorry, not 2 to base, 2 to the power of 0. This is 2 to the power of 1. And what of this? 2 to the power of 1. All right. So instead of writing it this way, we can actually write it in this way. So we can write 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the power of 6, and so on and so forth. Right? So what it means is that if you are now given a number of, let's say, 1, 0, 1, 1, all right? So if you place it in this place, you have something like 1 times 2 to the power of, because you have, in this case, we are going from, it takes from, it takes only 4 items here, right? Only 4 items. So 1 times 2 to the power of 3 plus 0 times 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 times 2. 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 0. So if you work it out, it gives, it gives us exactly the same thing we used to work on before. So we have 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus. So we have this is 1 times 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1. Think this is what we have here 1011 one, one, right so so what I'm going to do now let's try to do it without using all this help right so the secret is count the number of items you have so in case of 1011 is four items it means that the powers is going to be from 3 2 1 0 we are given six items let's say 11011 one, 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 one. So it's going to be from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all right? We are now talking about the powers, right? These powers here. If you are having 4 items, the powers of 2 is going to be from 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, let's play around with one with some examples and let's see how easy it is. If we work, work out some examples, you'll find out that it is really very easy. So basically, the, what we are doing now is converting binary to 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 decimal. All right. So let's play around with this. Let's say one zero one zero. So how do we do this? This is going to be the same as I told you that we have four items. So it's going to start from two to the power of three. So we are going to multiply this one one times two to the power of three plus take this zero. 0 times 2 to the power of what? Of 2, because the powers of 2 is reducing. Plus 1 times 2 to the power of 1, plus 0 times 2 to the power of 0. Okay, so if you work it out, it's going to be 8 plus 0, because 0 times 2 to the power of 2, of course, is 0. So this is 1 times 2, is 2. This is 0 times 2 to the power of 0 is 0. 
Also, take note that anything that is to the power of 0 is 1. So actually, this is 0 times 1, which is also 0. So this, this, this is not 0. It's what is this 0 here that makes it 0. So it's going to give us something like uh, 8 plus 2 is going to be 10. I hope you are following. So let's try something else, something more tasking. So how about 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. What does it give us? So the first thing you want to do is to count the number of items there. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So since we have 6 items, the powers of 2 is going to start from 5. So we have 1 times 2 to the power of 5 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 4 plus this time this is where we are at this point, that is 0, 0 times 2 to the power of uh, 3 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 1 plus 0 times 2 to the power of 0. So if we put everything in brackets, we have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six items for each of them. So to the power of five he, I think is 32. 32 plus to the power of four uh, should be 32 should be the next one is 16. this is zero and this is four right? This is four. plus this is one uh, two because it's one times two and this is zero. So 32 plus 16, uh, it seems it's going to give us 48. 48 plus 4 is going to give us 52. 52 plus 2 is going to give us 54, if I'm not mistaken. So this number in binary, in decimal, is going to be 54 to base 10. So I hope you get the gist of how it works. So I would like to just write out two more. So that we can actually do it as an assignment. So let's do one zero one one zero one. So these your assignments. Do this and also do one zero 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 one one. Right. Do this one and finally I'm gonna give you one 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 one. Okay. So so do this three. These exercises I'm giving you convert these numbers from binary to decimal and leave your answer in the comment box below this video and it's going to be really be interesting because if I see how you perform in this I'm going to now, we are now going to move to the next part which is how we are going to be given a decimal number, let's say 255 and we are now going to convert it to base 10 convert it to base, base 2 so basically, numbers of 0 and 1, this is all these are base 2, all these are base, base 2, base 2. But this is base 10, right? Okay. So we are converting from base 2 binary to base 10. That is what we have been doing in this lesson. And once we get it correctly, we now move to how to convert from base 10 back to binary, which is base 2. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'm making this lesson just to prove a point that math is not really difficult. And again, as a programmer or a data scientist, you need some bits of mathematics. So that is what I'm going to be giving you uh, in this channel. I am kind on the genius, as you know. And subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. If you have, if you have any challenges in your assignments, in, in any course you are doing, or in anything you want to learn, uh, let me know also by leaving me a comment and I'll be there to help you uh, understand it easily. So we see in the next class.